A tsunami can be one of the most terrifying forces of nature. It washes everything away in its wake. Thanks to modern communication, we all saw the devastating effects of the Indian Ocean tsunami and the one in Japan in 2011. Houses, cars, and even small planes were washed ashore, small ships were found in people's backyards, and that is no exaggeration. But as swiftly as a tsunami or a tidal wave sweeps inland, it ebbs away again, leveling a lot of trash debris junk and some pretty weird things on shore. Sometimes the debris drifts across the ocean to finally wash up on shores around the world and that can be a shocker. Check out 10 of the strangest things discovered after tsunamis. Number 10, floating dock. Imagine standing on a beach in the United States of America and seeing a floating dock from Japan. How weird is that? But many strange things have been appearing on beaches after the terrible tsunami that rocked Japan in 2011. Even as millions in property were destroyed, the impact was felt in stranger ways in the USA. On June 5th, a floating mass of concrete appeared on the shores of Oregon, carrying with it almost one 118 species of marine life that flabbergasted marine biologists who struggled to catalog them all. There were clams, barnacles, and other weird creatures, some unheard of before. The dock itself weighed over 188 tons and was 7 feet tall, 19 feet wide, and 66 feet long. After analysis, it was found to have cut loose from the city of Misawa, Japan after the 2011 tsunami devastated the area. Number 9, Oarfish. The creature that you're seeing in this video is not some mystery dragon of the deep, it is an oarfish, one which washed up on the shore in 2017, presumably after unsettling events in the ocean. But that wasn't all. In October 2013, two rare oarfish washed ashore on California beaches in less than a week, sparking excitement among marine scientists and the public as well. Oarfish usually live in the depths of the ocean and rarely ever surface. The first oarfish, which washed ashore on a beach of Oceanside, California, was 14 foot long. Five days earlier, the body of a dead 18 foot oarfish was found by the Catalina Island Marine Institute in Toyon Bay, California's Catalina Island. In June 2015, a 13 and a half foot long oarfish carcass was found washed up on the beach of Catalina Island once again. The creature was described to have impressed impressively long ovaries and may have washed ashore just minutes before it was spotted. Oarfish are some of the few fascinating creatures from the depths of the ocean which wash up on the beach, especially in Japan. They are called fortune telling fish because of the widespread belief in the country that the discovery of oarfish is a sign of an impending earthquake or tsunami. Number 8. The Friendly Floaties You'll be surprised to know what can get washed up on shore after ships get caught in a storm. In 1992, people on the Alaskan coast were surprised surprised to find dozens of rubber ducks on the shore. Where on earth did they come from? Earlier that year, a cargo ship carrying crates of toys from the first year's INC Toy Company, China, was on its way to the United States from Hong Kong when it was caught in a huge storm in the eastern Pacific Ocean. One crate containing 28,000 plastic rubber ducks and assorted toys fell off and was lost at sea. It's been almost 25 years since the incident, but these ducks and other toys have been washing up ashore on beaches all over the world. Some have traveled over 17,000 miles and found frozen in the Arctic Ice Park. Yellow ducks have also been found on the shores of South America, Alaska, Hawaii, the Pacific Northwest, Newfoundland, Scotland, and Australia. The flotilla of plastic ducks has been named the Friendly Floaties, and they are even being used to provide knowledge of ocean currents. How about that? Number 7. Doritos Imagine finding bags of your favorite Doritos greeting you on the beach. In November 2006, a ship traveling to Central America lost four shipping containers full of Doritos to the sea. The tasty snacks were lost in the waters around North Carolina's Outer Banks. One of the containers about the same size of a semi-tractor trailer washed ashore on Hatteras Island, North Carolina with hundreds of Doritos still intact. While some of the cases were wet, most of them were still sealed and remained in good shape. The containers had many assorted flavors of Doritos, such as nacho cheese, cool ranch Doritos, and spicy nacho. The Doritos washed up on Hatteras Island surprised gleeful locals who had such a great time snacking on them. Acting on a report, the National Park Service arrived at the spot of the shipwreck container and still managed to find multiple bags and chips when they looked inside. Now, I'm wondering if they actually turned them in or decided to eat them like the locals. <laughs> Number 6. Rowing Boat from Japan The Japanese mega tsunami of 2011 is surprisingly still throwing 
up debris on the shores around the world. Yes, that's a fact, just like the skiff or rowing boat that washed up on the shores of Crescent City in California in 2013. The name of the boat was called the Kamom and belonged to a high school in Rikuzentaka. The school was sadly destroyed by the tsunami, and a humane jester, pupils of the local Del Norto High School got together to remove the barnacles on it, restoring it to a better condition. With the help of Japanese officials, they worked to send the rowing boat back to Japan. The school in Rikuzentaka was also rebuilt by this time, and imagine their surprise when they received their boat back all the way from the USA. The schools soon became sister schools, which goes to show that sometimes the most unlikely incidents can result in bringing humanity closer together. Number five, giant Lego man. One of the most famous and viral things that washed up ashore as probably tsunami or storm debris, it was a giant Lego man seen in the Netherlands and again in Florida. No, it was not aliens sending signs. In 2007, a 100 pound giant Lego man washed ashore in the Netherlands. While this was the very first official giant Lego man sighting, there have been numerous other sightings all around the world from then onwards. Container ships using the popular open seas around the Netherlands are often caught up in treacherous sea storms, causing ships to lose their load. Another 100 pound giant Lego man shocked the beachgoers of Florida in 2011. A photo of the eight foot tall figure was provided by Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. The fiberglass character's green shirt had a message no real than you are emblazoned on it. Another such figure had been earlier reported in England and 2008. A spokeswoman for Legoland promptly declared the Florida Lego Man a counterfeit and it was taken into custody by the Sarasota County Sheriff in Florida. Number 4. Four backpacks with $48 million worth of substances. Now here's a real shocker. Would you panic finding $48 million worth of substances on the beach? On November 19th, 2013, four backpacks were found washed ashore in Yokosuta, Japan, 25 miles south from the capital Tokyo. It was found by a resident of the area who happened to be walking along the beach. Curiosity got the better of him and he decided to take a peek. The contents turned out quite shocking as each backpack had around 20 bricks of substance in them with each kilo being secured in plastic wraps. In total, around 80 kilos were found which made it the biggest substance seizure in the history of Japan. The overall value of the substance recovered from the four unidentified backpacks was estimated to be 48 million. The Fuji Network News declared it to be the largest drug seizure in Japan's history. It also means that someone seems to have messed up a big time. One commentator from East Asia News website, Kotaku.com, named Platinum Graves, aptly summed up the situation when he said, yeah, something had to go very, very wrong for this much substance, cocaine, to go missing. There's something very unhappy, people out there. Number 3. The Great Lego Spill of 1997 On February 13, 1997, 20 miles off the coast of Cornwall, United Kingdom, a container ship called the Tokyo Express was hit with a massive tidal wave described by its captain as once in a 100 year phenomenon. The wave tossed the vessel around, causing it to lose its entire cargo of 61 containers aboard. One of them contained 4.8 million Lego toys. Since then, the plastic debris has been washing up ashore on the Cornish, Irish, and Devon beaches. However, the contents of the other 61 containers remain unknown. Volunteers in Cornwall scoured the beaches and collected 6 million pieces of the plastic Lego pieces in a single day. In the same year, an issue of Beachcomber's Alert gave a detailed breakdown of the different Lego pieces lost. Ironically, many of the pieces were nautically themed. For example, there are around 418 diver flippers in pairs of black, 26,000 life preservers, 13,000 red or yellow spear guns, and 4,200 black octopuses. Till now, beachgoers still find these well-worn Lego pieces every now and then as they continue to wash ashore. Number 2. Japanese Ghost Ship it seems the debris from the Japanese tsunami of 2011 are still doing the rounds of the world's ocean showing up every now and then. Sometimes they cause sensational news just like the Japanese fishing boat found drifting off the coast of western Canada. Identified as the Rao Un Meru, it was photographed by Canada's Department of National Defense. The boat, which was declared too old to operate, was moored in Aomori Prefecture in Honshu and intended to be sold. That didn't happen though because the deadly tsunami 
tsunami of March 2011 broke the vessel's moorings, sending it adrift at sea. The Ryu Un Maru aimlessly drifted across the Pacific like a ghost ship until it was spotted in Canadian waters by a Royal Canadian Air Force CP-140 Aurora aircraft on 20th March 2011. On the 4th of April, the US Coast Guard dropped a tracking buoy aboard the vessel, while it continued drifting for another 170 nautical miles southwest of Sitaka, Alaska. The crew of the US Coast Guard Cutter Anacapa assessed the condition of the ship the next day. They then determined that the abandoned ghost ship had to be shot and sunk to prevent it from running around and becoming a hazard to navigation. Number one, a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Here's something I wouldn't mind finding on the beach. Wouldn't you like finding a Harley Davidson motorcycle just lying on the shore? But let's get real, the circumstances surrounding the Harley Davidson that washed up on the shores of British Columbia in 2012 may not have been fortunate. The motorcycle might have been floating in the ocean for a year, having been swept away during the 2011 tsunami of Japan. How do we know that? That's because it was inside a styrofoam container registered in Japan. It may have been intended for someone, but sadly ended up as tsunami debris simply because the bike was not in good condition, having been in the water for so long. Now, wasn't that something fascinating? What would you do if you found some of these items on your beach if you live next to one? Who knows, you may find a Lego piece if you look for one. But in the meantime, give us a like and subscribe to the channel to get some really awesome stuff.